Well, Nina, it was definitely a California Christmas season. Some places reached 80 degrees today, if you can believe it for this time of year. We're going to take you out to Oceano, a great shot of the beach here, thanks to our cameras on surfline.com. We're going to give you a first look of what we're expecting heading into your week. So right now we're tracking offshore winds. We saw those gusty conditions today. Those are going to continue tomorrow, creating for some very dry situations. These warm days are going to continue tomorrow, but those overnight lows are going to be trending slightly cooler. And then a cool down from these temperatures are going to happen Tuesday into Wednesday. But we want to take a look at your photos you sent in with the hashtag be on KSBY. Terry Hunter taking a awesome photo of the waxing crescent out in Shell Beach. And then this one from Paul Sill, you can see that this right here, these two stars lumped together. This is called the Great Conjunction, also known as the Christmas star. It's when Jupiter and Saturn get within less than a degree of each other. This is the closest it'll ever be in about 400 years. It's happening tomorrow, December 21st or winter solstice. It's going to create some positive energy. We need that right now for this year. Okay, temperatures for today, those daytime highs, again, I said reached close to 81 degrees here in Santa Inez, 76 in Morro Bay, 69 in Paso Robles, Pismo Beach, 72 degrees, 80 degrees out in San Luis Obispo, New Cuyama, 68 degrees, Lompoc, 76, Goleta, 75, 79 in Santa Barbara, and then 78 degrees in Santa Maria. So we are trending warm again tomorrow, but slightly cooler. Temperatures right now, we're heading into those overnight lows. So 45 degrees in Paso Robles, 47 in San Luis Obispo in Santa Maria, 53 degrees in Vandenberg, and 47 in Santa Barbara. The big story tonight is going to be these winds. So we are tracking northeasterly winds. These gusts anywhere from 20 to 40 miles per hour. And you can see at this hour, we have gusts from 27 and 26 mile per hour winds in this coastal valley area, kind of in the corridor between Highway 46 and Highway 41. So creating some dangerous con driving conditions if you're headed out that way. These are going to continue overnight into early Monday morning. You can see at 6 a.m. we are still tracking those wind gusts there. They're going to dissipate as we head into the Monday afternoon hours. But then again on Tuesday morning, we're seeing again this map light up. This compared with the dry weather and the warm weather is going to create some elevated fire danger. We're tracking also a Santa Ana wind event in the Los Angeles and Ventura areas, which could cause some fire damage, some destruction there. So when could we see rain because we desperately need it? Well, this extended forecast rainfall here is going to show this system moving into the area, going to possibly bring some rain for the Bay Area by Christmas, probably not for the Central Coast, but by Sunday we could see up to half an inch of rain in some places on the Central Coast, San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties. So for your temperatures tomorrow, 70 degrees in Paso Robles, 75 in San Luis Obispo, 72 in Santa Maria and Vandenberg, and 74 degrees in Santa Barbara. In the North Coast here, 66 degrees in Morro Bay, 67 in Avila Beach. In the Five Cities area, we're tracking 68 in Arroyo Grande, 72 in Napomo, and in the Santanez Valley, we're also tracking those upper 60s to low 70s here, 76 in Goleta, as well as Santa Inez. So your seven day forecast, you're going to see that these temperatures do dip down midweek here, but plenty of sunshine. We will start to see that marine layer return by Wednesday and Thursday, uh, but we're going to hope for rain because that could be the Christmas miracle.